Portland Breakwater Light. Uh, it is located in Bug Light Park. Not the beer, Bug. So I'm still having issues with my drone. So I'm gonna try and fix it tonight because this, this is only like a mile and a half away from the other one. So I'm still inside the controlled airspace. Uh, and I gotta somehow figure out how to get my DJI drone to get out of overprotective parents mode. But it's not as simple as just putting in your FAA approval number and being good. So it's about a 72 step process. I just watched an hour and a half long video about how to do it. So when I get to the hotel, I get on some Wi-Fi, I can get my drone plugged in. And then I'll go check it out and do it. So hopefully I'll have some drone footage for two drone or two lighthouses. And I'm still gonna try and see if I can figure out what the distance is to that fort. Let's see if I can get some drone footage of that fort that's out there in the middle of the water. We'll see. But let's go walk on over to the lighthouse. I figured out what it was. It's called Fort George's. It's on Hog Island Ledge uh, here in Portland. It was built from 18... Uh, 68 to 74 so it took six years to build it never saw any action and no troops were ever stationed there so it was just uh government spending at its finest right there so i'll see if i can get out to fort george's i gotta see how far it is it looks like about a mile and a half so we'll see i want my drone getting wet Okay, so it's like 10 o'clock and it's still foggy, but you start to see things. So we're at Fort Constitution, which is right by Portsmouth Lighthouse, which is on the other side of that gated facility. So if you ever want to come to Portsmouth Lighthouse, you won't be able to see it. And apparently, according to the University of New Hampshire, there are like warning signs about it being a hazardous area. So. You won't find it on the internet, but Fort Constitution and Portsmouth Lighthouse, you won't be able to do nothing with. Fortunately, when I checked the visibility, it said that it was three miles with haze, and you have to have three miles of visibility at least to use a drone, so I was able to legally use a drone, and I got some drone footage of the lighthouse. Uh, I zoomed in pretty good, but uh, I couldn't, uh, couldn't lose visibility of the drone. Legally, so I had to put it as far as I could and still see the, the drone. So, off to the next one. Alright, as you can see, it is still foggy. We actually drove all the way down to Gloucester, Massachusetts to try and beat the fog. Uh, but uh, did not work very well. But behind us is the Eastern Point Lighthouse. Uh, this lighthouse, you can see it in the uh, movie The Perfect Storm featuring George Clooney, based on true events that happened uh, to some fishermen uh, here from Gloucester. But I'm gonna try and get a little closer so we can get a better view of it. This is the camp fog. Oh, and so, to get down here, there's a wildlife refuge. That's what we're actually in right now, is a wildlife refuge. So you're gonna see signs that say, don't enter private residences. 
where there are private residences, but there's also a historical house that you can come tour, and they have a lighthouse down here too. So um, we drove around first because we saw the signs, and then I did some research and saw the other people that were saying that you can come down here, um, but uh, you can ignore those those signs. Just don't go into the residence. You can't park on the street. There's private roads, but you can get down here to the lighthouse. Um, and uh, if you deal with Karen, I can't help you with that, but uh, you can drive down here to the wildlife refuge. Uh, parking is $10, so they have like a little box you can put the $10 in. Let's go see what we can see of the house. So it's very windy here, but we are at the Friends of Nobska. Lighthouse in Falmouth, Massachusetts. So this lighthouse was built in 1867. Well, it was actually in the 20s, but the original light went through the innkeeper's house or lightkeeper's house, and then it was the 60s, 1860s, that they built that tower up. This wind is crazy, but the sea. Now, the Nobsco Lighthouse has very limited parking. They, I had to finagle that. We got room for about eight vehicles. You can't go across uh, the street and check out the ocean. See? Got a nice little path to it. So maybe when you come, it won't be so windy. Maybe in the summertime, it won't be the cold winter wind coming up. Now, if you go down the path to the left and you come to that rock, uh, just know you got about two and a half, three foot drop down. So we're gonna check out the path to the right with all the pretty flowers and see if that's any better. Early morning, we are at the Cape Cod Lighthouse. This is where you would park at. It's open from 6 a.m. to midnight. And beyond those houses right there is the light. Let's go check it out. 
this video is going to be covering all the lighthouses that we went to in New England. There's about a dozen of them, so if you like lighthouses, stay tuned. So what are we doing today? And we got up super early for what? Yes. It better be pretty. So, the Cape Cod Lighthouse over near Promise Town. It's right on a golf course. So if one of you likes golfing and the other one likes lighthouses and beaches, then perfect place for both. So when you come to the Cape Cod Light, also known as Highland Light, they have this cool little place that you can go to at the end of this sidewalk that you can watch the sun rise. As long as there's no clouds blocking it. Thank you. Sorry. Then they do have some trees that are blocking it too. But it's a pretty cool little lighthouse. Very well maintained. And the light still works too. If you like getting pictures with lights on in the lighthouse, you can do that. Swallow the ocean Then you'd hold all that motion and I won't try Until it's time To make sense of science Or swallow the ocean We are at Nasset Lighthouse, right there. So there's this little parking area just away from it that you can park at. Looks like it's free right now. Maybe they open it up during spring and summer, but you can walk all the way to the beach and see a beautiful sunrise or sunset. Or sunrise, I don't know, you can see the sunset on this side. On the other side. Too early for signs. Let's go check it out. Swallow the ocean Then you halt all the motion There's a mast So far out There isn't much doubt So a little history about Nasset Lighthouse. It was founded or built, I should say, in 1838. There's been as many as three lighthouses lined up in a row. So one, two, and three. That's pretty cool. Um, in 1950s, they brought electricity to it, but the original house was a house, the three towers, an outhouse, and a well. Uh, I gotta tell you, they got a pretty good view. And uh, this is apparently a national park, so I cannot fly my drone. So there's no drone footage for this wonderful, beautiful lighthouse that is screaming for drone footage. But, sorry.
Okay, so you've seen the movie Jaws, right? Well, they put up this nice, lovely, great white shark poster. And we're here, it's October 9th. The peak October. So don't go into the water here in Cape Cod. Um, unless you want to be shark bait. Ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, like finding Nemo. They must really expect somebody to get bitten by a shark out here. Public use, severe bleeding, first aid. Stop the bleed. Mm. Keep on chucking. These waves are huge though, they're beautiful. Let's check them out. So we're on our way to Bass Harbor Headlight, which is the lighthouse, and it's about 30 minute drive from the Kimball Terrace Hotel. So we're gonna go see, hopefully, some leaves changing some colors around the lighthouse with the sun just cresting over the lighthouse. So we'll see. Then we're gonna go to Acadia National Park. So I'm looking forward to that too. So we just got to the Bass Harbor headlight. Uh, haters are gonna hate. So just know that my video would be a lot better, but Joan haters. Just some interesting facts about the Bass Harbor Light Station. It was established in 1858. It cost $80 for the land. It cost $4,983.35 for the building. The height of the lighthouse is 32 feet. The height of the focal planes, 56 feet. Um, it was electrified in 1949 and automated in 1974. So all the way back in the 70s, AI, if you will, taking jobs. So, uh, they have a fog signal. That's a handbell. It was 1876 was when that started. A steam-operated bell in 1898. A pyramidal bell tower was in 1901. The electric-operated bell, 1949. And a bell buoy, 1974. So it uh, has one stroke every 10 seconds. So pretty cool. Uh, and it was a naval transmitting station back in 1946. <laughs> Il vit 